Welcome to AppMap. In this tutorial, we are going to generate app maps with a remote recording of our application. You can remote record your application if your app doesn't have complete test cases or when you want to dive in to a specific user interaction, such as an API call or some other product functionality in your app. We're going to be using a sample Ruby on Rails application, which is a basic Twitter clone. You can find a link to the project below if you'd like to follow along. If you've already been following along with this tutorial, you'll have AppMap installed and have already generated app maps for your test cases. If not, we're going to make sure we have AppMap installed in our project so that we can kick off a new recording. We're going to open the AppMap VS Code extension and install the AppMap agent. Our installer will confirm that your project will meet all the necessary requirements to create maps. Because we're going to remote record this application, it's okay if the AppMap installer doesn't locate a test framework since our app maps will come from the recording. We'll run the app map installer, select bundler, since this is a Ruby on Rails project. You'll see that the only changes thus far to our repository are the addition of an app map configuration file and the app map gem being added as a development dependency. Next, we'll run a slightly modified version of the recording command since we'll be remote recording and not recording via test cases. But before I run that command, I'm going to want to start my application locally and make sure I can connect to it. I'm going to open another terminal window, and because this is a Ruby on Rails project, I'll pass the app map true environment variable to start the app map agent. If you are remote recording a Java application or other language, please refer to the app map documentation links below for the relevant tutorials for those languages. With my app now running, you can see that I can log into my app, navigate around, post a tweet, and see users. We'll now return to our console and run the record command. If I omit passing any options, I'll be prompted to choose how to record the app. I'll choose remote recording. AppMap will try to locate your running application locally. If your app is running in a container or elsewhere, you may get an error. Simply follow the instructions to walk through the available configuration options to connect to your service. Now that the agent is connected, we can hit enter to begin recording. You can interact with your application, kick off a specific functional or integration test, or make any specific API calls to your application. I'm going to log in and reset my password. It's important to keep your remote recordings focused on a specific function and not include too many interactions in one single recording as the app maps can grow large as your recordings progress. When you're done interacting, return back to the terminal and hit enter again to stop the recording. We'll give this recording a name and then this app map will get opened within VS Code for us to interact with. We'll also receive a runtime analysis scan of this code path as well, which has identified a performance issue with an N plus one SQL query generating the main list of tweets. For early access to our app map runtime analysis product, reach out to us in the link below. Finally, you'll see app maps actually exist inside your temp directory in the app map folder. We don't recommend committing these to your project, they can grow your Git repositories unnecessarily. But you can commit these changes to your gem file and the app map configuration file, which will make the project available to your other developers.